Law. This video I wanted to share uh, what <clears throat> what my perspective or what my definition is of the macro storyline or at least the introduction to the macro storyline because as of now that's pretty much as far as I think or feel that we can go in reference to the macro and, and that's all we really need to do is kind of like also just open up to the macro storyline because that's that's what the part of it is is that's the reason why the system doesn't want us to look into this stuff because it empowers us so what people who have different motives tend to do is they try to discredit your your work or your approach or what you're saying uh, before they even like understand understand or even understand what you're talking about so this there's a lot of that going on in 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 the videos when you address like truth or communities and so as soon as you say something about like how the limitation of flat earth the limitations of flat earth you get hit by a wave of people who that's all they have that's all that they know that's all that they you know think is the answer to the world so they're gonna you know, di un dislike you, to unsubscribe you, and then they're gonna, you know, share some opinion on why you're wrong, not really entertaining why you're right, and, and not at all really seeing how what you're saying is affecting them, even in that moment. So <clears throat> that goes into the levels of the three levels of. Uh, intellectual authority which I'll get into in a second but the, the main thing was kind of like the questioning of particular realities to get to get on the path of being able to think for yourself and then get to a space of um, not only acknowledging the storylines that come along from thinking from your for yourself but also uh, activating some kind of uh, inv like involved intellect that uh, is now aware of the macro whereas before you were unaware so this is <clears throat> to, before I go any further this is kind of like the breakdown of the three levels of intellectual authority because it goes into the macro storyline or it sets the foundation to the macro storyline so this can be seen as um, like how children think and how um, adults think and act uh, but also how animals act uh, certain smart animals like uh, I've seen African gray parrots they do this too they 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 have like the the the, the intellect of like a seven-year-old um, well they have the, the the mannerisms and the interactive nature of like a seven-year-old child uh, but they're pretty smart like they have an, an intelligence that um, as far surpasses any kind of seven-year-old um, thinking uh, in reference to timing uh, they understand uh, timing com even comedic timing uh, whether it, even if it's not comedic timing they understand different kinds of emotions so they understand laughter and um, sadness and uh, even if they're just kind of like bouncing what you're doing off of you just like they're kind of learning like copycatting at least they have some kind of awareness there is what I'm saying so <clears throat> from like child from like a, a child would a child ways a child's way of learning um, is first and foremost so to copycat so it's like copying their mother and father they don't really know what to do or how to do so you see children who will either say certain things like right as soon as you say it they say it. as soon as you do it they do it um, and if they're not doing it or saying it they're actually thinking it or repeating it in their head so repetition is like level one of our learning styles and uh, e even adults can stay in that space forever so this is this is a beneficial place for the conformity grid which is the education system because um, 
all they have to do is make you like maintain that copy and paste sort of uh, intellect in the education system and then before you know it you're you're locked into the grid of um, this <clears throat> colonial western idea of you know what it is that we're supposed to be doing on this plane of existence which is just like making money and um, being cogs in the wheel of dominance and control around the world like that's as far as it goes so this is what the system of racism and white supremacy is actually protecting it's protecting that awareness um, so like when I'm talking about the education system I'm talking about the, the empire itself see when truthers talk about the education system they talk about they, they don't really address the education system as a whole they're talking about um, say for example like flat earthers Flat Earthers talk about the education system only up to the degree that heliocentrism is a lie. But you learned heliocentrism in like kindergarten, in first grade. So if kindergarten and first grade are a lie, then why aren't we disassembling the rest of the education system as we did the lie of the heliocentrism you know, breakdown? Uh, why isn't that being done? Because that's not that involves a macro approach flat versus gro globe is a micro approach it's all a microcosm of a bigger bigger macrocosm so this is like uh, intros to what mac 101 is or mac i mean everybody does this in their own way but as a youtube channel i've been talking about and addressing the macro since my very first video on this channel and it's been nothing but that since then uh, and people can interpret however you want, you know, whether I was or wasn't in reference to the macro macro. <clears throat> the thing is, the intention was there, and you can see that from the very first video all the way up until now. And there's almost over a thousand videos now on this channel. So you have the macro perspective, but not a lot of people are really going to be like, as soon as you open the door to the macro perspective, then you start getting into understanding, understanding and overstanding what the macro is. And that can take years. So this is what I'm saying, like I was doing when I first started YouTube, I was like, wait a second, I'm seeing a lot of people who are only really talking about this linear sort of like, at that time, it was like the new age community and Alex Jones, that was basically it. That was like, what I was observing and I was seeing like wait a second I I see it in like TYT and stuff like that. I was like I, there's a lot of room for improvement as far as information sharing here and ultimately none of these communication groups are ever are, are even talking about the Mac in fact somebody like Alex Jones is designed to distract from the macro the macro being uh, one one big macro if not the biggest macro elephant in the room is race the system of racism white supremacy institutionalized racism so like i said flat earthers can talk about how heliocentrism in the college and universities and public education system is corrupt but they won't talk about the inherent corruption of the education system as a whole that's my whole point that is the macro so this is what I'm saying. You can spend years and years and, and you can get a whole following talking about how shitty the education system is because simply because they, you know, sell heliocentrism to five and six and seven year olds um, and all the other bullshit that goes along it, along with it. But for whatever reason, you can't acknowledge or even look into the fact that uh, the education system was also designed to a certain kind of person above uh, the poverty scale and another kind of person to keep them below the poverty scale. I mean, that's more obvious than fucking uh, flat earth. Like, that is more obvious and more studied and more known than any of the other conspiracy shit that's out there. Yet, that's taboo to talk about. In fact, you can't even bring it up in flat earth discussions. I've been, Since when I first started talking about those two things connected, people were calling me divisive. But like I said, those are the people who who don't really know what the fuck is going on. Those those are ma micro mindsets judging a macro approach. It's never gonna work. It's it's gonna. Th this is why people get emotional and they get like in their get all butt hurt in their feelings because 
they're they're looking at another universe and that other universe is threatening to them so the macro approach is threatening to a little youtube channel that focused all their energy on flat earth alone like this was obvious like uh, when i called out flat earth asshole that was enough uh, that dude changed his name i'm not saying he changed his name because i called him out but i used him as an example when he went after stevie wonder uh because saying that stevie wonder was protecting the globe when he was you know said something in a song or something like that like in the movie in, in the song as the song starts off as a, as a what is it um what was it as the sun or as the as the earth knows it's revolving around the sun or something like that something in early May as the sun something knows knows he's, she's revolving or something like that um, so basically as this, like the earth knows it's revolving around the sun or something like that <coughs> that that was in a lyric of the song as uh and then you know that was written in like the 60s to assume that stevie wonder knew back then what he was doing i mean is far-fetched especially nowadays when people are you know so automatically flat earth asshole wouldn't you know he's protecting the, but he wasn't singing the song as he said something else it was earlier it was in an earlier video um but not only that you know most people don't know about flat earth uh, but he's blind, so he ha also has another, and, and that's to people are talking about. That's arguable too. That this is what happens in side effects to people who are trying to glorify a micro world. They have to create all these conspiracies, and like everybody's a tranny, everybody's this. I'm not saying a lot of people are not trannies. I'm just saying like this is why a lot of this stuff has to happen is because the micro world has limitations. The reasons why people have to get really outlandish with their truth or information and all that other stuff and get lost in a world of hypotheticals is because um, the micro world has a ceiling and that ceiling is the, the macro world. Once you get locked, at, once you get into the limitations of the micro world, then you start challenging yourself to the macro. But if, if you do that inner work, you will only try to glorify the micro world to appear as a macro world. So this is why people have to glorify the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Jews, the Bilderberg Group, the reptilians, the, the uh, shapeshifters, and all that other stuff. They have to glorify all that because that's all a micro approach. It's not really going into empowering yourself. It's a micro observation of this reality, hoping that they're right on the macro scale. And that's what the system uses. Like uh, when they vote for presidents, they just like they they make the appearance that you're hoping to be right. And if you hope, and if you get it wrong, you hope that it's right again. And then you just keep hoping and hoping and hoping because that's that's the way the system is designed. Uh, because you don't think for yourself. You're following. So back to the three levels of intellectual authority from childhood. Since you're surrounded by illusions and your family members, your previous generations have been surrounded by illusions, even your, even your parents don't have the information that is of this universe. Only the education system gives you the information that is uh, the infrastructure of this universe. So who's your real daddy? Who's your real uh, intellectual authority? That is the system. Uh, they have relinquished, your parents have relinquished intellectual authority to the education system, to the uh, authority grid. <clears throat> so from childhood, this is how, this is, this is how you are locked into the mind control programs. So this is part of the macro. It's, it's in the how and the why. And you can easily go into the why after that. Uh, but the thing is to open that door and don't leave there yet. Stay there and then everything else that you're looking at, try, try, trace it back to the, um, trace it back to uh, the origins of why the education system had to create this intellectual authority in the first place. See, heliocentrism is just a side effect to the intellectual authority maker, uh, authority members 
who have told you that they have the intellectual authority over this universe. So, um, yeah, so the intellectual authority of this universe is, is, um, approved by the system of racism, white supremacy. Uh, and that's like the big elephant in, in the truth or room that most people are avoiding because there's there's nowhere to put that. And that, that deals with a lot of uh, personal work that a lot of people won't do. And, you know, why would you focus energy on work that's not going to get, you know, money, that's not going to get attention, that's not going to get followers and all kinds of stuff? Why would you focus on that work? It, it, you have all this work to do in the micro world that can get a lot of followers and a lot of attention and a lot of, you know, views and all that stuff. But, you know, why would you work on yourself? That doesn't make any sense. We got to get this. We got to get the word out. We got to get the numbers. We got to talk about what's hot right now. See, that's what Mark and Patricia were all about four years ago when I was saying flat earth is dead already if you only care about the numbers of flat versus globe then you're fucking dead already this is, it doesn't matter your, your shit is dead already it's dead on arrival there's no essence there's no um, there's no um, <clears throat> substance to it there's nothing there if you, you just want numbers you'll get the numbers you'll end up on YouTube but they'll make a fool out of you You'll get your numbers, but what will the numbers be? This is kind of like the universe giving you what you ask for. Be careful what you ask for. So, back to the levels of intellectual authority. Um, so, intellectual authority, kindergarten, level one. Uh, the, the first level, like I said, is co like copy and paste, repeat, repetition. Uh, so children will do that, and this is what the the mainstream media or the overall grid wants to keep people in that, the uh, the masses of people, largely in the copy repetition, copy and paste repetition consciousness. So that's level one. Level two is thinking like uh, uh, you're you're um, repeating the information within the system but you're thinking that it's not within the system so this is a micro world appearing as a macro world so you're in the micro micro world in the beginning when you're just repeating uh, because it's only about your personal like survival your primal instincts like just you know stay alive and learn the basics second level is where a little bit of challenge and confusion comes in um, so now you have to kind of think for yourself. You're challenged to think for yourself. You don't know what to believe and what not to believe. You don't know what's real, what's fake. You really have to make those decisions for yourself. So this is kind of like when you're getting into like the adolescent phase. Uh, you, you, you are both kind of equivalent. You're coming up to the space of being equivalent to an adult thinking consciousness, thinking for yourself, but you're still... You're still kind of goofy. You're still kind of like, you know, um, clumsy and uh, you don't really have any experience in the intellectual world. And you, you have like general experiences, like maybe some relationship stuff or people's interactions. You know you're not like that person. You know you're not a piece of shit. You know you're not. You know what you're not about. You know a lot about what you're not about. You're, you're, a, you're not a lot like your parents. You're not a lot like your grandparents. You're not a lot like your, you know, you know what you're not like. The thing is, you don't know what you are like, though. And that takes experience. And, and when, you, when you don't know what you are like, you really don't know what you are not like at the same time. So teenagers uh, with that adolescent consciousness mindset who are like half and half, they don't really know what they are like, so they can't really know what they're not like, which actually makes them think they know more than what they're not like. This is why a lot of teenagers, when they grow up, they figure out, trying not to be like their parents, that they're exactly like their parents. So <clears throat> that's that world, and it's like a transitional world. And that's the world where, like Neely Fuller Jr. was saying, the system wants to keep people in that level of limbo in that level of transition um, um, I think he called it a repair or something like that where 
um, oh damn it, it was started with an R. Um, fuck. It's not repair. It's kind of like, um, <clears throat> refinement, that's what it is, refinement. So you're, you're, as a teenager, you're in a level of refinement to a certain degree. You're, you're in a level of refinement without any experience. Like, you, it's like polishing your shoes with sandpaper. Uh, will it get the mud off? Will it get that childhood mud off of you? Yeah, you'll get it cut off. You might see a little bit of color in the shoes. You're going to scratch the shit out of your shoes, though, eventually. You're going to think it's polished. Why? Because it's clean. It doesn't have any childhood mud on it. It's bullshit, though. You have to have experience to get that shine back. You gotta get the, you gotta get back to where you were uh, as a child without all the bullshit that you downloaded as a child and as an adolescent now, as a, as a teenager now. So before you even get to think that that's a, a part of your reality, you're already thrusted into what? Into high school, into the education system, into a job, maybe have a baby, maybe you know whatever it is you're you're in that world now and it's too late that's the majority of people that's the masses that's what happens before they even get to think about what they need to be thinking about they're already locked into um, a trap of some sort within this um, intellectual authority grid so that's where you don't even get out of level two let alone level one so a lot of people a lot of grown-ass people are still copying copy and paste they're still doing that today people you so-called truthers are doing this on the internet they're just you know copying other people's shit and then saying that they that they invented it and then at the same time knowing that they're talking about other people's information they're not even acknowledging that that's where it came from and so this this is a side effect to a, a child a childhood at a uh, intellect they need the attention they need they need to be seen for what they're doing so this is why YouTube and the internet, social media are so beneficial to that refinement stage and that adolescent mentality. So you got a bunch of uh, so-called critical thinking, thinking for themselves adults who appear like they're thinking for themselves, but they're not. They're talking about, they're repeating, they're copying, they're, they're sharing other people's stuff and not locking it into, you know, what's going on to, to uh, the ancestors who... Who did it before us, so, and that's that's the that's the colonial consciousness created as a whole. That's how it works. So people are just copying, whether they're doing it on purpose or not. They're copying it. So, <clears throat> like I said, that's that's so there there you go with the three levels. So you have the the copycat, like the childhood, the adolescent, and then the adult is where you get into the space of uh, you start to open the door to critical thinking. So once you get past that space of, you know, pride and arrogance and thinking you know everything because you know what you're not like, um, that's when you start to get to the world of experience. And you get through that world of experience, you, the experience forces you to think for yourself. Once you start to think for yourself so many times, so many situations, that's when you start to open the door to be able to critically think. Uh, so right now, people are not even in the space of being able to think for themselves, let alone being able to critically think. They're not being allowed to think for themselves because they are still bombarded by a bunch of shit they don't need to be thinking about in the first place. Shit that's been sent out by the mainstream media and all these fake-ass truthers who don't know what the fuck they're talking about because they're still copying what the, what the reaction grid told them to copy or they're still priding themselves in not being like whatever else something else is. And they're not really, really critically thinking for themselves, but they're saying they are because, you know, they're in teenage land talking shit, looking down on children, never really getting to the critical thinking land of thinking for yourself. But prideful teenagers want to talk shit about children. See, this is what's happening when you have the prideful truther now, the prideful flat earther. Uh, going around telling the world that you know nothing else matters just the the world is flat and that's it that's prideful arrogant bullshit um, <clears throat> and that's where we are right now teenagers posing as adults consciously uh, so and, and it's no different than like what you're looking at right now these graduates right now they they have the that's like a permission slip what they're holding in I did it like I we did it like that's a permission slip for acting a damn fool. 
thinking thinking you got the intellectual authority of the universe why because they put a black cube on your head and told you that you have all the knowledge that you need but you only have one degree out of 360 degrees of knowledge you have one fraction of a degree in fact you have a rws fraction of a degree you don't even have a real degree so this is how the, this is like the pride and teenage adolescent bullshit and then look at the consciousness of the, the system, that the institution that gave you your degree. The consciousness of that institution is like of a 10th grade consciousness. It doesn't matter what they tell you they are. Their intellect, their way, their, their, their character, the character of the university system is, is dead. It's empty. It's burnt out. It never was alive. It's still, uh, it's still a child of racism, white supremacy. And that's the elephant in the room a lot of people don't want to don't want to talk about. I've referenced the elephant in the room a number of times throughout this year. There's a whole video about the elephant in the room, specifically talking about RWS being ignored in uh, flat earth, the Mandela effect, all the truth or circles. Because you can see when you see it like in in in, in comparison to that, RWS is a way of thinking. It's how you think, why you think that way. See, all the information truth, uh, information in the truth of communities about Mandela Effect, Flat Earth, all that other stuff, that's what you're talking about and who's talking about that. So what is Flat versus Globe and who? Neil deGrasse Tyson versus Eric DeBay. That is the consciousness of that truth of community. And that's all I'm saying in reference to what Mac 101 is ultimately. So when I when I address flat earth directly and I'm talking about the macro storyline, that's what I'm talking about. You can say you can you can have all the debates in the world, you can have all the information talking about how the earth is not a globe. You can have that forever. To what degree? And are you talking about the authority that lied to you in the first place? How the fuck are you going to sit in the room surrounded by all these liars and only talk about the lie? You have the microphone, you're standing in the middle of, a, of the world, and you're surrounded by all these people who are saying, yeah, yeah, we lied, who gives a fuck? You're still stupid enough to just talk about the, the, the lie, the, the information itself, but you're not going to talk about who lied to you, how they lied to you, what they lied about, how they're still lying today? The fuck? So, uh, <laughs> people are like, yeah, they're lying! Oh, yeah, and, and they're lying! Yeah, and... And they lied, yeah. And and they lied about this, yeah. They lied about that, and they lied about that, yeah. And <coughs> excuse me. And and they're also lying about this. Ooh, I never heard about that. That seems interesting. Let's spend six months talking about that. Mm, do, 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 do. Six months go by. Ooh, and they're lying about this. Ooh, that's connected to this. Ooh, Tartaria. Ooh, the Tartarians. Ooh, hey new people maybe we can find out where we are and maybe we can clunkily like accidentally stumble our way into figure out figuring out what's going on by just talking about a bunch of random shit that comes up on the internet how about that let's just guess our way and then whoever says that whoever's not talking about what you know what's the next thing to be talking about you know we, we dictate what's the next thing to be talking about they're 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 shills they're against us they're this they're that because <laughs> remember when tartaria came out if you weren't talking about Tartaria, they were calling you a shill already. That's basically white people saying, we have the authority of talking about what we're talking about. This is very generally speaking, obviously, again. But this is a real thing that happened on the internet. As soon as Tartaria came out, if you weren't talking about it, like you, you were seen a certain way. So that's the authority of so-called white people dictating the information that needs to be talked about and you can see how quickly it glossed over but but do black people have that power right now around the world do so-called black people have the power to say to other people around the world on the internet we're talking about this and if you're not talking about this you are a shill you work for the government do so-called black people have that power no only so-called white people have that authority and that power especially on the internet why because they've been using that fake illusory ass 
intellectual authority that was given to them by the system itself. And that's the side effect. Any truth that they say is more truthier than your truth. So your truth is not only invalid, it might be against the, against the people. Your truth, if it's invalid, it might be information for the enemy. Like the, the enemy is, you might be the enemy, you're a shill. So if you're talking about racism, and white supremacy and white people don't acknowledge or even entertain what you're talking about, they're basically calling you a shill. And, and and they're invalidating your information. That's the same thing going with Tartaria and all that other stuff. So, and, and the opposite side is, look at that. Look at all Martin Leakey and um, all the people who are in that tight-knit group of flat earthers. As soon as they start tar start talking about Tartaria or no, no forest on flat earth, the whole fucking world jumps on it. You don't think that's a slight bit, like, suspicious? Like, you're not a little bit curious about that? Like, if we say anything, like, all the different subjects that I brought up on this channel, uh, not saying that, you know, anybody needs to be jumping on the subject. I'm, I'm just saying as far as comparison, because other channels have talked about what I've talked about, too, and they don't get the same push as, you know, these other Flat Earth channels. In reference to, like, as soon as they start talking about Tartaria, as soon as they start talking about No Force on Flat Earth... That, that shit takes off like fucking wildfire and it, and it's blowing through everything and you know, all the so-called black flat earthers are talking about it and all these other people truthers are talking about it Alex Jones you know all these people talking about shit you know, oh yeah that must be the real truth oh they're not talking about it that must be the extra real truth and then people pride themselves like quantum of conscious he prides himself in oh yeah like uh we're being censored, so that must be that must mean we're telling the truth. Da, 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 da. We're being censored by YouTube, so we're telling the truth. Da, 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 da. They're, so they're using that too. So now people, then fucking simple-minded as people believe them, and that's that's how you get your fake ass um, street cred. You you get your fake um, validation slip. Like you're 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 credible. You're good. Why? Because you're being censored, and then. And then people, what happens is that uh, that solidifies their belief system in, you know, everything that they're saying is real and, and, every, and, and not so much to make you believe in everything that they're saying because it's always more to the story, but more so to make you not listen to other people, what other people are saying, because other people might be talking about a bigger storyline. And if you're talking about anything different than what they're comfortable with, what, you know, they, 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 confirmed is truth and all this other stuff because it's being censored on the internet if you're saying anything different than that then what are they going to do they're going to attack you so this is why all these quantum of conscious people immediately came onto my channel after he said something and just started unliking like disliking all of the videos that were there started talking shit in the comment section and i was like bring it please come on like it's not hurting me any any way you're only showing your ass and giving examples of how fucking ignorant they really are so that's that's um that's the side effect that's the intentional side effect that uh, goes along with <clears throat> youtube doing all this censorship and the arrogant pride that comes with uh, the um limited thinking that is glorified over the internet and social media you, you glorify, like, you know how kids, they do something. You've seen those videos, those memes where, you know, a kid does, like, a, a dance move of some sort, and he's surrounded by a bunch of other kids, and they're like, yeah! And it's not even, like, a real dance move. They're just pumping their head up. So that's what's happening to truthers on the Internet. YouTube's just pumping their head up. They're like, yeah! As soon as they start talking about Tartaria or, or Flat Earth or or anything the internet and, and and you know or if they're talking about like bill cosby or michael jackson the internet is like yeah yeah keep doing it woo and then they just keep pumping their heads up and then as soon as they get censored they're like oh yeah we we must be talking about the truth because at one time we were being celebrated now we're being censored. They got thousands of people who think they're following the truth why because they believe what this asshole said <laughs> 
That's what's happening with that fake ass truth or community. Fake truth. That's that's why I said it's truth televised. It's all it's all uh, entertainment. Truth entertainment. This is what this is the side effect to to social media and uh, the internet as a whole, and this <clears throat> this this is the infrastructure or the um, it's basically like the meat and potatoes of the macro story in 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 comparison to the uh, the micro story. The micro story is just like uh, appetizers at best. It's the side dishes, it's like the the candy, the water that you're drinking, or like the little sippy cups of stuff. But it's not really the actual, um, it's not really the, the um, meaning of this interaction. It's not why we're here. It's not why, it, it's the side effects to why the system wants you to think we're here. Because that benefits the system. But it's not actually why your consciousness is it's not the maximum potential of your consciousness it's some bullshit so <clears throat> it's the same you, you can see that as, a, as the mainstream media so the mainstream media is is not truth it's just information and it's not even like important information for the most part because it's information meant to distract you information meant to mind control you information meant to put out a particular consciousness and that consciousness that is on a regular basis every single day is racism white supremacy that's the biggest channel that's being you know played through the mainstream media and so-called truthers especially so-called white truthers they, they they go through this world of, of research uh, with like elephant elephant glasses on to where they can talk, see everything in the world that's going on, but since they have elephant glasses on, they can't see elephants. So everything looks like something other than the elephant in the room. So they'll talk about the mainstream media and, and, and talk about like how fucked up the mainstream media is, but you won't hear any references to um, the system of racism and white supremacy, which is the glue to the mainstream media. You won't see that. As far as mind control, it's obvious. Look at your news anchors, look at your actors, look at your politicians, look at the White House, look at your teachers in the inner cities, look at your redlining, look at your uh, poverty, look at, look at your people in prison, look at your people in uh, high places, look at your homestead act, look at the head right system, look at, like I said, redlining, um, racism, white supremacy in your government that is the infrastructure of the elephant in the room and you know people are still like butthurt about even mentioning it you're not truthers you're fucking mind controlled zombies you're zombies of racism white supremacy if you if you've made a hundred videos or however many videos talking about the mainstream media and you haven't talked about the obvious racist nature of it and the intention every single day you wake up in the morning you go down you go down to look in to what? Into a world of RWS. And then since that world is so corrupt and, and obviously corrupt, people call themselves truthers just because they can't talk about the corruption. But they won't challenge themselves to talk about the obvious corruption that's in your face. They talk about the so-called underground corruption of like reptilians and all this other stuff. They want to jump all the way into shapeshifters, reptilians, Illuminati, Bilderberg, but they never want to come back to the real world, everyday, in-your-face uh, bullshit that is also a mind control program. In fact, the biggest mind control program that's being pumped in your head every single day, they won't talk about that, but they want to talk about, you know, Jews and the Illuminati and all that other stuff. Why? Because there's no accountability there. There's no real solid foundation. There's no real kind of like, oh, yeah, this is what we need to do. It's all floaty. Everybody, you know, everybody's just like on the same team and nobody's nobody has to really critically think about anything. <clears throat> so before I go any further, let me finish the third the third um, level of uh, intellectual authority is the intellectual authority that you have over yourself. 
the third level. The first level was, you know, copy and paste, you know, other people thinking for you. Uh, and then the second level is basically the same thing, copy and paste. Other people are thinking for you, but at this time, you have the illusion of thinking for yourself. That's what it is. That's the second level. You have the illusion of thinking for yourself, but you're still... You have no experience. You have no. You have nothing there. So you're still doing what level one was doing, which is copy and paste. You're just doing it in a more complex fashion. So on level three, you're you're not only just thinking for yourself, but you're aware of the world of not thinking for yourself. That's a big part of it. You're also aware of the world designed to make you not think for yourself. This is why it's so challenging for the the previous world level two um, to even realize that there's another world existing because first of all they're still thinking other people's thoughts and then second of all <clears throat> they're not aware of the world that they're in so they will constantly be telling themselves that they're out of that world but they're still in that world and a lot of people can't get out of a world until they have something to get them out of that world to hold on to to anchor themselves and then pull themselves out of that world. What I'm saying is that disassembling the elephant in the room, racism, and white supremacy, that's one big obvious thing to pull yourself out of that world because the infrastructure of level one and level two consciousness world thinking is <clears throat> based upon you not thinking for yourself but also not knowing that you're not thinking for yourself and also thinking that you're thinking for yourself. That's why, they think that that's why they have to tell you you have... Uh, freedom and all that other stuff that's why I use the term intellectual freedom in the last turn in the last video is because um, you have this idea of being intellectually free this is what truthers are thinking they're free they think and they're talking about the truth but they're they're avoiding a big part of the truth so you, you have intellectual and quote unquote freedom but you don't have no freedom of thought because you have no thought to think you're still thinking of other people's thoughts so that's the third level and this is this what I'm saying like is is uh, being aware being aware of not thinking for yourself uh, and uh, obviously people can argue that's relative and so on and so forth because then you can go into the soul and like oh, the higher mind thinking for you and all that other stuff and then the higher higher uh, the most high and so on and so forth <clears throat> I'm not getting there yet that discussion is for later on down the road but as of for now Fuck it, you got the majority of people are still in level one and level two. This is why I'm talking about the macro 101. We haven't even gotten into Mac 101 yet, and people are already thinking about they got the answers for the whole fucking world. Yeah, all right. So here's your example of the uh, the news, the intellectual version of thinking you're thinking for yourself, but they're just copying the mind controls that get put out there by the system to maintain macro control uh, and people who disassemble largely the uh, dead horse like the dead horse in the room people who are beating the shit out of the mainstream media beating a dead horse in the room <clears throat> they think that's the truth they think that's the answer and then you know that's still part of thinking you're thinking for yourself and people who beat dead horses in the level two consciousness, they also get views. They also get attention because that's the majority of people there. Like the the cool, the cool, uh, the cool crowd is moving from level one to level two thinking. See, now it's dumb. Now it's fucking uncool to be dumb. <laughs> this is what Trump did. It's uncool to be you know successful in that world now. That's what that's what that whole implosion of that world is about Trump and the money system and they're imploding their old world then the, the new world Christopher Columbus has now gotten old and the the so-called white man is the example of that and but that's just the show it's not the whole grid but they want to play like the old world is dying by a fake killing the white man in politics and they were going to replace it with, uh, you know, uh, some kind of other person that looks like they're not a part of the system, but they're still a part of the system. Same thing like Obama. If they could have controlled people with race and race only, they, they will. So they did. They said, here's your first black president. And the whole fucking world, you know, 
had one big giant orgasm at the same time because racism and white supremacy gave them their first so-called black president. They don't even know what the fuck black is. They don't know what African American is. They don't know about racism and white supremacy. Ain't got shit to do with the whole system as a whole. They're just happy they got a not white president. If you can't fucking see that that is a, a, an example of racism and white supremacy existing on the largest scale, like the, the, the shit that was lost, people lost their shit when Obama was elected. Why? Is it because he was so great, or is it because we've been underneath a blanket of racism, white supremacy, since this country was invaded? Is it because Obama was so great, or is it because we've been underneath a boot of racism, white supremacy, since we were invaded? See, people don't want to say that. And a lot of the house Negroes want to talk about, oh, oh, oh yeah, well, this is one step. See, them people talking about Obama was one step. They're just like Mark Sargent. They want the numbers. Obama is all about the numbers. Let's get those numbers up. Let's get these black presidents out there. And in, in 3,023, we'll, have, we'll be successful in racism, white supremacy world. <laughs> like That's what people are thinking right now. And they've been, that's where the system wants to keep people. Priding themselves in technology. Priding themselves in what the McDonald's toys have given them. <clears throat> and the, the mainstream media maintains that. That prideful reaction over the years. So this is just another thing that I wanted to share in reference to... Um, like the mediocre nature of... Con the, the conscious the, the adolescent consciousness so like valentine's day that's like your example that's like like valentine's day in like elementary school preps you for cheap ass love when you're an adult so that that's how that sh that's how love fits in so you have your up here you can see um your your intellect your entertainment or your information from the system and then you have your relationships so it's like the soul the mind and the body they got you on every level and these are just loose examples of that but you can see how these are loose in definitions of, of what love is the mainstream media is a loose at best definition of you know what information important information is about the the college graduate is a loose definition of you know being smart and intelligent in this universe you're only a prisoner of their universe that's why it's a university system you're, you're in their universe to learn what they need you to learn to become and maintain a slave and then you do what you were told to do for the rest of your lives which is uh, buy the American dream and play this fake sort of ha 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 oh my god we're so in love that, so, that, that fucking fake ass postcard feeling of love it's all about your feelings. See, true love is intelligent. True love is also intelligent. It's not limited to intelligent, intelligence, but it's also intelligent. And um, like the love that's put out by the mainstream media love, it's just about how you feel. Like, does your dick get hard? Does your vagina get wet? Like, when you see, you know, the, do you feel a certain way? Do you blush? Do you, you know, like, it's this primal, animalistic sort of thing. Oh, if that happens, then you guys are in love. Like, why don't you make babies and make more fucking zombies to, you know, fall in Valentine's Day love? That's what this shit is. Bullshit. So, this is the manipulation of the portals of beings who get here. So this this Valentine's Day bullshit, this is uh, this is manipulating the consciousness of the beings who are bringing new beings into this realm. So if their if their consciousness is of a you know Disneyland like sort of Mickey Mouse Club consciousness, <clears throat> what kind of babies do you think they're gonna raise? Mind controlled, slow, dumb ass babies, Mickey Mouse Club ass babies. <clears throat> so that's what the system wants so they'll put valentine's cards and valentine's hearts in elementary schools to make you think that love is about this and get you over sexualized and over thinking about you know getting in hurry up and getting in a relationship and hurry up and having a baby and hurry up and doing all this shit because that benefits the system 
that's why. And that's why it has to be cheap love. Cheap love has to be, you know, get a ring. You know, it, it, that's why the ring has to be so expensive because the love itself is so cheap. So more, the more expensive the ring is, the more fucking, the the bigger the ring, the the cheaper the love. That's how shit is. And and, and even when even when people are trying <laughs> to get a, a a more expensive ring, it's even cheaper because they're they're, they're still trying. To, that's the sad part. People are trying to get something that's you know fucking they're, they're like trying for a tv dinner when the real love is just something that exists inside of you. you don't need a ring tell the woman that you love how much you love show her in action like be be there like look in her eyes like go go to the depths of that it ain't got nothing to do with a fucking ring I mean, she can lose a ring a ring or what what if what if she falls in love like this is another thing women fall in love with uh, things like things it's like um like animal like i said the animal thing like wh what do you think birds are doing birds and they see them birds of paradise and the planet earth documentary they set up like a whole little like little <laughs> little batch little pad for the for the female bird to come in and, and look at it and then and if she likes it then they get to you know reproduce and then that's it that's where we are right now it's like oh get a ring get a ring and then it, how's the ring look all oh, the friends say all oh, the ring the ring is a fucking shitty don't marry that guy oh okay good 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 yeah yeah you'll be why because what <laughs> so why what, what are your friends at your friends in a fucking abusive ass relationship ain't about nothing zombies they damn selves so this is people keeping keeping other people in the zombified world you know with pride and shit you know, old school generations do it too to their to their children. Like, how many kids? You know, where, where are the kids at? Where's your where's your uh, where's your loved one? Where's this and that? And like, wait a second. Do you really want to start talking about relationships? Do you really want to start talking about kids right now? A lot of these old schools got like 13, 15, 20 kids right now. Then they got the fucking first slightest idea about what love really is. It's just about fucking and you know. That, that baseline primal sort of survival instinct relationship bullshit and that's what's pumped out through the mainstream media and you can't do anything about it why because how the fuck are you gonna talk shit about love like who the fuck talks about love like like down about love like you'd have to be a fucking asshole to a real asshole to talk shit about love and and this is the thing like i'm not talking shit about love i'm talking about the shit that is love that floaty ass shit against us but when you even bring it up, simple-minded ass children saying, "You, something is wrong with you. You don't like Valentine's Day. You don't like love and relationships. And look at how much the system has given us. You know, <laughs> they love that shit. So just like the, like I said in previous videos, your definition of love ain't shit. Just like the definition of human ain't shit. You don't know what that is. It's a political term." Human is a political term like global warming. These are political terms for what? Used to affect you, to control you. Global warming is connected to an illusion to push a political agenda. Love and Valentine's Day and Black History Month and Fourth of July and Christmas and Thanksgiving and Columbus Day and all that other bullshit, those are all designed to have the same effect on you the same effect president's day all that bullshit new year's day locking you into time locking you into a particular consciousness that's why that shit exists and that is the macro once you once you ball all that stuff up and you see it then you can see well who's in control of that who created the intellectual authority of that that's when you start to get into the world of thinking for yourself and seeing the macro See, before that, it's just like dealing with what you dealing with what you got, dealing with what's going on. See, like a, a lot, I, I don't have anything like to defend in this system. Like, in the honest truthers out there, uh, they would say the same thing. Like, <clears throat> like in reference to like interracial relationships. Yeah, obviously on a micro scale, people are gonna do whatever there is gonna they're gonna do. But that's not gonna keep me from 
acknowledging and talking about the reality that the system wants you to get into these inter it's like pushing the same way it's pushing the lgbt agenda it's pushing uh, interracial relationships why because that's beneficial beneficial for the system of racism white supremacy because they can hurry up that the quicker people integrate the quicker people can get into a one world government the quicker people that consciously like in their minds integrate with and just throw race away just throw culture away just throw all of your ancestral threads just throw it away into this big ball of we're all one we're all human let's just come together the earth is flat and everything that's that everything's fixed once people ball all that shit up and throw it away into that world of let's just feel better that's when the system has people locked into that idea that 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 prideful world of level two intellectual authority they're ne they're not thinking for themselves but they have somebody to think against so it has the extra appearance that they're thinking for themselves when somebody goes against your thoughts it makes you think that you're extra right <laughs> that's what's happening right now but they're extra right in an ec in an adolescent thought process so they're not really thinking for themselves they're just thinking they're thinking for themselves but they're still thinking the thoughts of the system of racism white supremacy for the most part and i say that because that's the focus of this video it's way more complex than just way racism white supremacy but i use that as an example because that's the elephant in the room that a lot of people are, are avoiding uh, consciously and unconsciously for the so-called not white people who are avoiding it it's more consciously because they live it they know it they know it's up uh, and that's not totally true because there's some so-called not white people that are even more mind controlled than so-called white people so in many cases they don't know what's going on but in many cases they do if they're smart they know they know what they're avoiding they know they're not they know they're not talking about it and then same thing goes for so-called white people some knew, some know some don't and, and it really goes into the mindset like where their mind is and what they're really about and what's going on here that's why I said no this ain't about no like storyline one thing no 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 teams about no no one little shit no we got to get we got to get to a space of critically thinking we ain't even have a team of critical thinkers yet we we have this we have a, a illusion it looks like we do we got a lot of debates talking about flat versus globe and a lot of information people talking about that but there's still only few and far between individuals who can really go into the depths of critically thinking outside the the distractive storylines that's the that's the minority in in that whole discussion it's a rarity uh, because what's attractive what's what gets more views and likes is what's uh still got the scent and that stink of fucking racism white supremacy on it and and people still got that stink they want to rub it all over them like ooh yeah this stink's got some views on it baby it's got some sub subs on it this stink ooh yeah let me just rub this shit all over my youtube body just rub it in mm, ah yeah people gonna smell the shit out of that they're gonna like i'm gonna get a whole bunch of subscribers and people think like that but what they're doing is they're rubbing that funky ass stink of racism white supremacy on them and then saying i'm not racist i'm not a part of that Oh, you're rubbing it on you and, and you're acting like it doesn't exist <laughs> that's what all those stories are the nipsey hustle story um the uh <clears throat> alex jones owen benjamin uh the, the, it's like rubbing a stink even flat earth it's like rubbing a stink on you for what what's the intention there what's the purpose what's the meaning there you rub that stink on you what you gonna do with it are you gonna know are, are you gonna call it perfume or cologne like are you gonna take a pride in that stink or are you gonna say yeah i'm a stinky ass motherfucker yeah i'm talking about this but i'm talking about this shit so we can actually know what the fuck is going on i'm not afraid to get dirty i'm not afraid to talk about you know how funky this shit is because you know what's happening it's people talking and running around with their funky asses talking about they they ain't funky they they don't they oh they don't even know what funk smells like or looks like what what do you mean funk this is stankin' ass motherfuckers out there running around with some stankin' ass draws and and, and 
and talking about what smell? Racism, white supremacy, how dare you? What what do you mean? You can't smell that shit? What the shit is all over your face. How dare you? Oh my goodness. What do you mean racism, white supremacy? There is a fucking turd hanging off of the tip of your nose. You got diarrhea dripping down your back. What do you mean? You're racist. Telling me I have RWS doo-doo on my face? <laughs> That's... How dare you? You must be... You know, and on and on and on and on. These old doo-doo face as RWS people running around talking about they sell, they, they selling or uh, sharing truth. Ain't no truth. That's some doo-doo face. There's some old doo-doo head bullshit going on. Doo-doo head love with Valentine's Day. Doo-doo head information with the mainstream media. Doo-doo head truth with the truther and flat earth community. And doo-doo head intellect with this old graduate you know, university system bullshit. And people running around with funky ass draws and doo-doo on their face. And can't do shit but talk shit about, you know, how other channels are... <clears throat> Other channels are, they got doo-doo, doo-doo on their faces. Like, wait a second, this is a, <laughs> this is a micro, micro, micro world, micro, macro world, and then the macro with an awareness of the micro. You can't get away from the micro. You are a manifestation. You are a micro. You can't have a, you can't ob observe the macro, the micro without micro. So if your micro is all fucked up in mind control, what? how do you think you're going to perceive the macro from a fucked up in mind control perspective? So this is what this is why it takes so long for people to get that shit off their face. Because if you start getting into interpreting the macro, you're going to fuck it up big time. So you got to get in, you got to get in there and wash all that, that shit off you, off all of your bodies, your lower bodies, your, your, your soul, your mind, and your body. You got to wash that shit off of it. And then get into what it is that you're uh, uh, thinking critically about. Uh, but don't just jump on the and jump on the critical thinking train just because you have the internet that you know is critically thinking for you. The internet doesn't critically think for you. The internet gives you the appearance of being thinking like you're critically thinking because you have access to critical information. It's a difference there, though. It's kind of like the GPS. You can go anywhere, but do you know where the fuck you are? You have no fucking idea. You are totally insecure with getting where you're going by yourself. Or knowing where the, even knowing where the fuck you are. But you can drive anywhere and everywhere. So that's a pride. There's a pride that comes from that. You can, just, you can see this with tech. People have this with technology, too. Overall, it's like, oh, look how far we've come with technology. Get the fuck out of here with this, man. You don't know where the fuck you are or who you are or what's going on. But we've done this! Oh my god! Get the fuck. So that's that. Teenagers with McDonald's toys. Defending the empire of McDonald's. Don't even know how to fucking critically think for themselves. I'll leave it there. It's pretty much the uh, breakdown for the macro um, storyline and the uh, three levels of intellectual authority. This is this is one. This is the main. This is the elephant in the room in the room of intellectual authority. This old cheap version of intellect. Look at look at her. Look at this. And then, does this institution go into the depths of spiritual intelligence? Does this system go into intellectual and in, like and ancestral intelligence, or is this system designed to make you think, act, and feel a certain way? That's the design there. So if that's the design, why the fuck are we talking about the information within the system that's made that's supposed to make you think, act, and feel a certain way? Why aren't you talking about the actual system itself? Well, people are not talking about the system itself because they can't. They don't know how to. They're still in the level of copy and pasting, still in the level of not being able to critically think for themselves. They're still in level two of the three levels of intellectual authority. They don't have they, they don't have the authority themselves. They don't have the author, authority over their own intellect. They still need these are the authority figures of their own intellect. So you can't critically think 
if somebody else has intellectual authority over you when you are a child you have your your parents have intellectual authority over you and all kinds of authority over you because they are the ones raising you they're your protectors they're your your providers and so on and so forth you have no reason to have an intellectual authority when you start growing up to transition into that space of intellectual authority over your own reality to raise your own children to think for yourself and so on and so forth to get there you first have to have the illusion to train yourself to get into the space of intellectual authority to, to be able to think for yourself but you don't have any experience yet you're still a teenager so what the system wants to do is to keep you in that world of lack of experience lack of intellect lack of knowing what's going on this is why information is hidden from you um, <clears throat> and and only the information that's put out by the system is um, not hidden from you it's put out there for you to pr be proud of and, and chase and get get like oh chase it down and be like everybody else uh, so it has the illusion college gives the illusion of fake experience it's the it gets you at the transition point transitioning from the child consciousness to the creative intelligence consciousness creative uh, or uh, creative um, critical thinking consciousness so what it does same thing actually when you really go into it so what it does is like it, it has the uh, the the persona of raising you higher consciousness high school higher awareness um, higher learning so it has the illusion of bringing you up but it's actually bringing you down into their world of conformity and limited limitation and a lack of critical thinking because you're just regurgitating so now your parents in college and high school are the system itself so you just copy and paste what the system did the same way when you were a child you copy and paste pasted what your parents did so you copy you copy your parents in level one you copy the education system in level two and then in level three the transition is from level two to level three is that is you copy and paste the straw man of yourself so you're copying the the imitation version of yourself and your imitation version is your straw man the one who talks about the weather the one who talks about the bullshit in the world the one who just keeps repeating what the system told them to repeat here's your truthers right now doing the same thing they're still repeating what the system told them to repeat so this is this is the copy the the copy consciousness uh, and then <clears throat> like when when, you, when they grow up and they get older they only have the illusion that they're thinking for themselves that they're loving for themselves that they're um, engaging whatever they're engaging for themselves so then and this is where we are in the truther community you have a bunch of people who think and use the words critically thinking but they're they're not critically thinking they're critically um, sharing a bunch of shit information that is is part of a certain level of consciousness but they're not really attaching their critical thought to it they're just appearing like they're attaching critical thought to it by attaching a lot of other critical thought subjects to an individual critical thought that's how people can fake critical thought you talk about a, uh, you talk about a lot of critical thoughts that's how you you fake critical thinking you talk about a lot of critical thoughts but talking about a lot of critical thoughts is not critical thinking on that note I'll leave it there thank you for joining me till next time from all my relations thank you for the support peace love and harmony